Well, Doug, this group, as you said, marched their way down Broadway, but take a look. They've actually stopped right now here at the intersection of 3rd and Broadway. You can see a very large group of them chanting together, listening to a speaker. Fists are raised in the air. This group has been continuing to march together actually all the way down the street. There are hundreds more that go much further back than we're able to see from the corner we are standing at right now. It has been very peaceful as this group has marched from the Highlands here into downtown. I was in St. Matthews earlier today and is some of what we've been looking at hearing those chants of Breonna Taylor, hearing those chants of justice, but it was a much smaller group there in St. Matthews. Take a look. St. Matthews seeing its largest group of protesters with hundreds lining each of the four corners at Breckenridge and Chenoweth. Cars honking in support for three straight hours. You know, we've seen a lot of families be able to come out here to where, uh, you know, they can be educated in a way that's a little less intense than what downtown is. Protest organizers say they wanted to spread the message east of the city, where most of the protests have been seen for the last six nights. We're trying to reach people that we feel like are not comfortable coming downtown. Um, they're scared and they, therefore, they are totally avoiding seeing this movement. So we brought this movement to them to bring them information and to show them how many people care. As protesters, old and young, kneeled in solidarity with fists raised in the air. Others passed out flyers with a list of demands. You know, state officials need to acknowledge the fact that LMPD really, really needs to reform. The plan was to stay peacefully at the intersection, but some began to march east on Shelbyville Road around 7. St. Matthews police used pepper balls to get the crowd out of the street and followed behind and alongside as protesters continued to march. We don't want violence and, and, and it's not us starting it. The goal, St. Matthews protesters say, is to keep spreading that movement even further east. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. And continue until they see change. Tyler Emery, WHAS 11 News.